Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, today I'm going to show you the ACF plugin how we can use uh, basics of the ACF and first of all let me tell you what is ACF so ACF is advanced custom field for WordPress developers so make sure this plugin is for developers only not for the end user so what this plugin does this plugin provides developer to create and uh, create a custom fields for the site and that custom fields we can use for anywhere we want based on our requirement uh, if we don't use this plugin any particular custom field we want to create we have to create meta box and then field and then code for the saving <coughs> to the database but this plugin does everything uh, automatically we just need to create a custom field from the backend and rest will be handled by this plugin so that's why this plugin is very useful for uh, developers and uh, this saves lots of time so let's jump into this plugin so here is their site uh, and it says purchase but no worries they have free version as well with limited fields so we will be learning we will be installing this free version of course that so that we can start with basics so this is my local wordpress and let's add a new plugin so in this video i'll be showing you how to create fields and then how to get a value of custom fields to the particular place so i'll search that plugin it should be there Yeah, this one this is extended I don't know what is that uh, let's focus on this only so it has two million plus active installations so it's a very famous plugin for the developers you will know uh, how it will make developers life easy when we see the things <coughs> let's activate So plugin is activated, no any extra links here, but you see there is a menu created by this plugin, custom fields. So let's go into that. Okay, let me clear this thing first. Let's start from scratch. <coughs> yeah, I was exploring something. So uh, here we need to add field groups. So what do you mean by field groups? So for example, if you want to create custom fields for post only. So what you can do is you can create a group of the fields only for post. So that's why you can recognize which field is for what post type or what page or something like that. 
yeah it's up to you it it is up to any developer uh, you have to make a decision for that uh, there is no particular rule that for post you have to make group and for other thing you don't need to make group etc but group is for to make consistency and make the things clear for the others developer other developers sorry so that other developer would come and by the naming they can understand that this field is for that and so let's see here i have books custom post type i have created so i want to make some custom fields for the books that by default is not available so let's open one of the books and let's see what we can add author so let's say i want to have a field of publisher who publish the book which is not there over here so in that case we can use custom uh, acf custom fields so that we can add, we will add a new field called publisher so that we can add a publisher of that book so first i will create a group group name will be books fields and i will save it for now <coughs> so group is created now it's time to add fields under the group but before that see these rules um, like for what where you want to display this field so as i mentioned i want to have this fields for books only so here we have several conditions uh, we can achieve so first i will uh, i will select post type post type equal to book so that this means this field is now belong to only books let's add a field field level publisher field name will be automatic you can change if you want like this i'll keep as it is publisher will be text these are the field types there are lots of field types over here but we will start with simple text instruction if you want to display instruction we will see where this will display if you want to make this field required no i don't want if you you can give a default value you can have a placeholder text like a b c i n c prepend i don't know what does appear before the input append appears after the input let's try to add this as well let's say p for prepend a for append i never use this option so let's see what that matters and our one field is edit let's update now i will expand this again and we will see what comes where so here i am in the edit book section i will refresh this page again and let's see where is our okay here is the section edit books field this is our field publisher this is the instruction instruction here then placeholder text comes into the field this is prepend so yeah prepend is yeah before before field and append after field so that is coming here so yeah if you want to add some identifier for that you can add it so as of now i'll remove this i don't need it so so simple this is and if 
without ACF if we want to add this section. So first of all, we have to add a meta box and then a field and then um, code to save the field, etc. But now this this will all automatic handled by ACF. So let's save something. Let's see. Bala Chandran Publishers and update. So this is how we can basic use custom fields and see now the value is stored but this is just a backend part this plugin does this much only what if you want to display that pub publisher in the front end as well like currently no publisher is displaying over here now let me add content So it looks nicer. <coughs> okay, now, so now our custom field is created, publisher is created, value is stored, but it is not displaying over here. Yes, value will not display in the front end. We have to display it. ACF job is done here. Now, developer's job comes into the road so first of all uh, let's open the template which is responsible to display this thing so I will open this let's see it should be single dot PHP let me go something and then we can confirm Yep, it is coming from here. So here, okay. Uh, forget about the designs. Let's let's display the publisher over here, if publisher available. So how to get this data to the particular post or any post type so for that I will search so this is the function get filled this is function from the ACF so let's publisher let's assign variable get filled now let's see what get filled accepts the first is the selector selector means the field name or field key how to get the field name or field key so we have created this field and this is the field name don't forget this is the field name you don't need to add label just field name so we will use this field name another argument is the post id so current post id so how we can get current post ID so get the ID yeah because we are under into the while loop of WordPress so we will get the current post ID by this now let's try to echo
and as you can see now our publisher started appearing over here let's see if publisher is not there so nothing will be display okay let's make some proper adjustments we go do publisher publisher so let's open this let me get rid of this so this is shit sorry so this is how we can get the value and save the value using ACF now this is only type text um, we have lots of types like text area number range email these are all the types we are not going to learn I'm, I mean I am not going to show you everything I am just giving you an example so this is the basic uh, use of ACF um, in the next video I will try to get dive deeper into this plugin ok now uh, see here no publisher here so uh, let's go back to this field again into the publisher we have default value this will appear when that field has no value so let's say bc so whenever there is no value it will display abc let's wait for this field to be saved no something is wrong okay uh, appears when creating a new post so it applies to new post only let's add a new post and yeah default it is abc so it should display abc for this let's publish so that is not applied to existing post here it is so this is displaying unnecessarily so what you can do is you can just put a condition if not empty then only display so in that case this whole section will not display here it will display and here it will display for better uh, as this is a third party function you should add if function exist and whole section goes under this function exist so that if you deactivate this plugin your theme will not throw a fatal error so this is a good practice while developing and that's it for now thanks for watching the video